Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message for you. Let's see what the energy we get. Now, this is a general message. It will not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Again, they are open until the 19th of December and then they will close until next year. So only if you were thinking about getting one. This would be a good time. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and who have supported me this year, whether it has been by getting a personal reading, whether it has been by donating to the channel, and whether it has been by subscribing. It's very much appreciated. But let's get into your message, Virgos. Look as I part the deck. <laughs> Dare to be happy. Oh, if you are safe. Hmm. Now that you are safe card, it always kind of reminds me with the butterfly and with the birds and even with the flower blooming. It gives me an energy of transformation or change. But someone may be afraid to do that or afraid to go towards what maybe makes them happy, right? But let's get a message. The sign of Virgo, what do we have? Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? Give me six cards. For Virgo. I am hearing some of you need to get back to concentrating on some kind of project or business or something like that. Maybe this is even some kind of um, skill you have, right? Because with the Reclaim Art, she is grabbing for like a violin. Um, so maybe some of you play an instrument. Maybe some of you sing. I don't know. Um... Poetry is also what I'm hearing. So maybe songwriting. But let's see. For Virgo. So I don't know what energy has distracted you away from that. But it's, it's for some of you, it's time to kind of, you know, get back to holding your vision. Thank you, Spirit. Give me six cards. What's the message here for Virgo? What is the energy for the collective? Thank you. First card out. Sing. I just said that, you know. Someone here may sing. You maybe have some kind of platform. I don't know. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful voice. Very talented. Give me another card for Virgo. What is the energy here? What is the message for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Thank you. Feel the well, yes. Time to get back to something. This would tell me that someone here may have been feeling in low energy. Be careful of the people. Yes, look at that. Be careful of the people you have around you, right? Energy vampires, people, you know, just pay attention to people that maybe drain your energy a lot faster than others and things like that. Um, people that are very demanding on your time. I'm actually seeing four cards at the top. So let's go for four. Um, yeah, people that, you know, may make you feel low. Feel the well. A lot of red here. Get back to what it is that you're passionate about. The sign of Virgo. What is the energy here? Thank you, Spirit. What is the message from my Virgos? Thank you. Look at that. It came out anyway. <laughs> you are safe. It's almost this energy as well, you know, of show the world the real you. So I may use Moonology cards as well. You are safe. And this is also with all these birds, you know, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that you are getting. I feel like um, there may be someone here who is getting messages, but I don't know if you are blocking them out. I don't know if you just feel like, are you going crazy? <laughs> you ain't trying to hear that. Um, but it feels like spirits trying to nudge somebody a little bit and i'm also hearing before it's too late so give me another card the sign of virgo thank you let go and go let go and go i don't know where who wants to go somewhere just go already okay you have let go and flow yeah go with the flow You see this woman, she's got no shoes on. She's just swinging so high. You know, it's, it's, it gives me the energy of trust. 
faith, believe. I'm going to start rhyming in a minute. <laughs> what is the just thing? Trust, yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Just saying we have be courageous. Hello. Look at all this red. Purple reminds me of psychic abilities. Intuition. Be courageous. If someone here, I don't know, if someone has some kind of performance coming up. But this also reminds me of the Six of Wands. And with all those flowers on that stage, I feel like, hey, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Go out there. Show them what it is that you can do. Show them who you are. This could have something to do with a Leo. Only because the Courageous reminds me of the Lion. Do your thing. What is a fill the well? trying to fall on the table <laughs> hmm. call your spirit home say i'm sorry some of you have may have a soulmate or something like that that wants to apologize to you but i'm going to put these back okay but somebody who doesn't feel uh, again you know would feel the well coming out as well here it could be someone here is not almost feeling like something is missing if you are in separation from someone what is feel the word? Look at that. Open your heart and speak with love. So I'm telling you, clear the fog. <laughs> Somebody here wants to have a conversation with you, Virgo. And this looks like it's a love interest. Now see if this person wants you to open your heart. Or they have learned how to open theirs. Maybe you taught them. And there's that reclaim your art. I don't know if you guys can see it. So while I'm seeing reclaim your art and change the scenery, you know, some of you, maybe there's something you need to change about um, some kind of hobby or um, something like that, right? Maybe it needs a little bit of tweaking. <laughs> so what is feel the well for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Feel the well. Why is it here? Almost. For the sign of Virgo, show me. Wow. So what's missing? Is it love? This was at the beginning as well, right? This feels a little sad. All right. You are safe. Why is it here for Virgo? You have it's not an emergency. Now, sometimes when I get this card, sometimes this card for me, now it could just mean that maybe someone here was ill, right? Maybe someone is recovering, you know, hallelujah kind of energy. But this sometimes for me can be <laughs> a false pregnancy card. Um, You see the little mouse underneath there? It's almost, um, I don't know, maybe someone had a pregnancy scare and, or someone had something to do with a child, maybe found out a child is not theirs. Um, definitely not going to be for everyone. But with the man jumping for joy, it would tell me that, and, and you are safe, is that maybe this was a false alarm somehow, some way. Take that how it resonates. Now, let go and flow. Why is it here for the sign of Virgo? Ooh. You have to get over yourself wanting to show its face. And now that's usually my ego card, right? Pride and ego. Someone here may be trying to control a situation. Spirit saying let go and go with the flow, okay? Let go and flow for Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Spread the light, yeah. Now the spread the light card for me is usually somebody, um, it talks about someone's energy. So again, I don't know if this is all talking about one person, right? Or just different bits for different of you, for different. But it does kind of make me feel like someone here is feeling low without someone else's energy. But because of pride and ego, or even maybe other obstacles that come in between, you know, it's making someone hesitate um, to go towards what it is or who it is they want to.
See, someone may want to come and tell you some kind of truth here, right? With take no offense. Let me show you. With take no offense. You, this may be somebody you've already left behind here for whatever reason. You have tell the truth. Someone may want to tell you something, but they don't want you to take offense to this. They want you to hear them out. They want you to hear their side. This could even be somebody who may be thinking about sending you some kind of a message. This may be someone who has written out a message several times, just never sent it. Fear. Pride. You have say yes. So this may be someone who is fearing that you're not going to accept their apology or you're not going to want to hear them out. You know, look at this woman in this chair. She's like, I'm unbothered. I don't care. <laughs> I've moved on. She's the only one with a smile on her face. Oops. And there goes my birds. Good morning. And then you have take a breather. I feel like this is someone who may want to spend some time with um, you guys, right? And you know what else I just heard? This is really weird, these messages this morning. Now, with the stop and the keep dancing, right? You see the shark in the water and give it to God? I heard someone stop dancing with the devil. So take that how it resonates. Okay. So I did say the moonology. Where are we at? Okay. So moonology. One, two. Give me three cards for this situation. For the sign of Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. That was terrible. All right, give me three cards. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? We got three, we got two, we got two. So the first one out is look at the bigger picture. So someone's seeing something different here, right? Now it could be in love. I always say this is Cupid's arrow. And then you have your dreams need a practical plan. So after someone's seeing something different here, it's like, you know, they want to make some kind of movement here, right? They want to take some kind of action. Thank you. Look at that. A fiery climax approaches. But they could be spending way too much time in their head about how to say the right thing, come in the right way. Spirit says, let go and go with the flow. What is that all for? Because then to me, that would be like putting on another facade, right? Give me one more. Bottom of the deck, you have the answers you need are coming. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. We have Sagittarius. We have Taurus energy out here. And we also have oh, Libra energy. Look at that. A new romantic cycles, a new romantic cycle begins. Yes, it, it, it can for someone here, it seems. But Spirit says only if you believe, right? And only if you take some kind of action. So whatever this person, your dreams need a practical plan, whatever this person is visualizing, thinking about in their head here, Spirit says it can be turned into reality. Believe in the impossible. So what, do I even want to go from, every time I pull from this deck, I just feel like, <laughs> this feels a little bit toxic. <laughs> um, uh... Spirit, what can we get clues from? All right, let's get some from the hidden truths. Let's see what comes out of here first. For my Virgos, what is this message? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Give me four cards. First card. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid to contact you. Mm, kind of see that here. Be courageous, Spirit says. Go on. It says, I know I messed everything up. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have I regret lying to you. Give me two more cards from this deck. 
I heard Spirit said two ain't nearly enough. <laughs> we only need two. Thank you. <laughs> two ain't nearly enough. You have, I wish I had treated you better. And then one more. Thank you, Spirit. Just one more. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, we have, we both know I am not the one for you. Oh, well, maybe that's why it didn't happen, right? <laughs> yeah, I hid who I really am from you. So maybe this is why. So maybe this is someone, I mean, for some of you, that's just not meant to contact you, right? Maybe this is a situation that is just done and it's over. That's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, that's just the way it is. <laughs> so, all right, give me some more clues. Give me some more clues for the sign of Virgo. Why did I do that? Don't worry about me. All right. Oh, straight out. Okay. Coming in the reverse. It says I'm hiding a secret child. Well, that would say a lot about your character, wouldn't it? Anything else? For my Virgos, what is this message? Thank you, Spirit, so we can close this out to the sign of Virgo. What do we have? Almost tried to fly out there. Not much coming out. Okay. Anything from this deck for Virgo? No, that's it. Let's do two more. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is a someone who hit it. Okay, hold on. Who hit a child from you? And maybe that, um, maybe their conscience is eating away at them. And so it should. You know, you people, you don't hide children, regardless of anything. Children are a blessing from the Most High. So imagine you doing something like that and the Most High has blessed you with something. What are you saying to the Most High? To me, it would be like sticking two fingers up at him for that blessing, right? Surely that would deserve some karma. It says, you trigger me. It says, I stayed for the children. It says, the past is on its way. I don't want to be a player no more. No, you got to be a daddy or a mommy. What the hell? <laughs> it says Capricorn, <laughs> which gives me toxic devil energy. I'm not even going to lie. You could be just dealing with a Capricorn. It says, have no fear. Archangel Michael is here. I told you karma was very close by. <laughs> and then you have, I just don't feel the same anymore. So Virgos, this may be someone who is stressing themselves out about coming towards you to have a conversation, talk to you, and you don't even care. I'm bothered. <laughs> You'll be crazy as hell. Um, so we've got Archangel Michael out here. So let's get a card from Archangel Michael and just close this reading. Thank you, Spirit. I don't know. I don't know if these are people that just really don't have true happiness in their life or they just haven't found it yet. Because I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like why, why people just don't be a little bit more honest with themselves, with other people. When things have ended, you know, move on. Especially if you created such a scene. And for what? One more, Archangel Michael. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, the first card we have out is step into the spotlight. I'm telling you, with this just singing, this courageous, be courageous, someone here may be on some kind of platform or they may have some show or something coming up, right, where you may be a little bit nervous. I'm telling you, man, I see like the six of wands out here, right, victory. Someone is almost like, um, how, do you, how would you say this? Almost like somebody exceeds their own expectations kind of energy. It says, step into the spotlight. It says, you have a message that the world needs to hear. 
it's time to share your vision. So it doesn't just have to be singing, right? You could be some kind of spokesperson or I don't know what this spotlight is, right? But it would be an energy where you are either relaying or singing or giving a message to people. And then you have the number 36, which is a number nine. So it could be giving me the nine of wands, right? So this could be an energy of encouragement, don't give up kind of a thing. It says, trust your angels. It says, let go. Oh, what did I just say about expectations? It says, let go, let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan. So that's what I have for you. <laughs> Virgos, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.